In this lesson, we will learn how to read an Excel file in Pandas. We will read an Excel file and perform operations on it. To read an Excel file, we use the read underscore Excel method. That is a built-in method of Python Pandas. Okay, first we need to install open py excel package then we need to use the read underscore excel method so since we are using pycharm id for this uh, for this course so i'll be installing it on pycharm id first let us create a sample excel file i'll be creating a sample seven rows excel file generally excel files are quite huge but for our sample example for easier purpose, we are just showing this small Excel file. Okay, let us create it. Go to the desktop. Let's say I'll be creating a new Excel file on the desktop. Right click new. Excel. I'll name it Cricket. Double click. I opened it, now I'll add some content to it. Okay, cricket, uh, let's say player, rank, points. Okay, so let me add some names, cricketer names. Rank let me add it and uh, I'll just uh, select both of these and drag it points uh, let me set the points as well so this will be our sample excel I've added the points that's it now click save here minimize we have created this excel file with the extension excel sx now we will install the open py excel package and begin with the following programs the first program is to read an excel file then we will display the top end rows and then we will display the last end rows i'll load my excel file in the data frame begin with the first program so let us read our excel file using the pandas.read underscore excel method. We will load the excel file, read the data and store it in a pandas data frame. Here is our PyCharm ID. We are using the free and open source PyCharm community edition. Let us create a new project for it. File, new project. Add the project name. Okay, this should be fine. You can add any name. Here is the path of the Excel. Click create. We have created our project. Now let us add a file, right click new, Python file. Demo one, it will automatically add the dot py extension because Python file is by default selected. Press enter. Here it is, we created. Now create two more files for our other examples. Demo2. Right click new Python file demo3. Press enter. We have created all three files. Now let us add the comments also. So here is our first example. to read the excel file first import pandas as pd we have also created an alias now guys I told you to read an excel file we need open py excel package ok so we will install it go to file click settings here and we have our uh, packages we have the packages installed we installed numpy and pandas 
you just need to go here itself this was our project name okay we just went here after clicking settings interpreter and click the plus sign here and type the package you want open py excel right when you'll click here you can see it is a library to read write excel files fine click install package we have installed the open py excel successfully click close now it will be visible here here it is we installed it click okay now guys we can easily work around our excel file let us begin first we will input the excel file load the excel in the data frame data frame object we have created it we'll use pandas that is pd dot read underscore excel okay now mention the path okay so our path is on a desktop here in right click on your file you can click copy as path or you can go to show more options on windows 11 and click copy as path on windows 10 also you can find this here we have copied the path right click paste here is a path you can print the excel file records now that means df okay and you can also mention a message here let me save it file save all right click run here we have our error okay for excel we can uh, type r here let's see right click run demo one this may fix it no still not fixed or i can remove this and uh, type okay now right click and run demo one let's see now it is still not fixed okay the same error do the same thing which i did before for csv open file save as browse under excel it's fine tools web options select utf8 okay and uh, you can give it a new name let's say i'll give it save you can type cricket new and rest looks fine run demo one permission issue i'll copy this cut and uh, let me paste it here or i can directly click paste here okay i'll close it first i have copied it now the path is here it's in e drive run demo 1 it's fixed now okay we have fixed it so in this way guys you can read your excel file so you may find some errors while working on excel or csv file so i have shown you ample options to fix it okay so this should work in 2024 okay
So guys, we saw how to read an Excel file using the read underscore Excel method. We will display the top n rows of a data frame that is uh, wherein we loaded our Excel using the head method. If you want to display the top first five rows, then only use the head method. If you want specific number, let's say you want two rows, so mention head in the parameter mention two and only the top two rows will get returned. Let's see the example. Here it is. Display the top end rows of the data frame in pandas. Import pandas as pd. Okay, now let me take it from here. I'll input the Excel file and uh, we placed it in e drive. Okay. Excel file records are displayed here. Now we want to return the top n rows. For that, I'll use df dot head, and I won't place anything inside it because I want the top five. Top five rows. Right now. Here is our Excel file. Okay, it is having six records. Okay, the top file will get displayed. Top end rows, file, save all, right click, run demo to. These were our records and these were top five. Not the last one. So the following top five is visible. here so this is how we can work around uh, head method we can also display specific rows let's say top two i want i'll just mention two here in the brackets and that's it right click run demo two here it is we have displayed the top two okay we saw how to work around the head method to display the top end rows now we will see how to display the last n rows using the tail method. It works in a similar way, but it will display the last n rows. If you want to display the last two rows only, you can use the tail method and in the bracket mention two. Let's see. Import pandas as pd. Let us load our Excel and uh, print. Here is our Excel. It will display the last five rows. That means it will ignore the first one. So only these will get printed. Let's see. Now return the last n rows. Print df dot tail method, right? You can add a message also like we did before. Last five rows. Run demo three. And the last five rows will get printed. Okay. The last five rows will get printed. Using the tail method. Similarly, if you want to display specific. Specific number of rows. So let's say I'll add three last three rows mention the parameter as three under the tail method right click right click and run demo three and uh, we will be displayed with the last three ben rohit and kane and these were the last three ben rohit and kane so guys in this way we can easily work upon the tail method so guys, we saw how we can read an Excel file in pandas. We read an Excel file, displayed the top 10 rows as well as the last 10 rows of the data frame.